Hi, it's Elder, and in today's video I want to share with you the small tutorial on how to create the beautiful fading scroll animations using Blocks Free. And I have used one of these techniques I'm going to show you today when I was rebuilding the Apple's website and I got a few questions about it. So I will show you today how to do that. Before moving to the tutorial, let me share with you a couple of updates on the projects I'm working on. And most of all, it's uh, Blocks templates because I have released three more templates in last 10 or 12 days, I think. First one is apartment template, which is the beautiful template for real estate companies. And if you've been using the template for Blocks Free, it was great because I actually was able to create this filter, uh, original kind of for Blocks website filter, because I was using visibility feature to kind of show and hide the different uh, panels. But thanks to the new tapped content brick we have in Blocks Free, I was able to simplify this uh, tapped content where I have the one tab for the items for sale and one tab for the items for rent. So uh, thanks to Blocks Free, I was able to create a much better version. And while doing so, of course, I improved everything about this template. In addition to apartment template, I have released the new version, completely rebuilt from the ground up version of wedding template. And this time it's uh, quite different from the last version because I was using the images from my own wedding and I installed the custom Google font, beautiful font. And I think it is much more pleasing uh, template than it was before. Uh, there are small details like sliding in, fading in navigation which was kind of not perfect in the previous version, but I figured out how to make it perfect. And finally, commerce template I have released just today, a few hours ago, I just finished it. And commerce template is quite simple and it's designed for the small companies which have a few products and they want to sell them online. Let's go to my computer and I will show you how to get this beautiful animation like I did in this Apple's website. So first of all, let me show you what we have here using the layer tree. So this block, small block has one row inside which has four columns. So one, two, so each text and line are separate column. And inside this column, we have another row which has two columns and one of them plays the part of course of text so inside this column we have just the text and another column it's just empty column but it appears as line and i have done that by adding the custom class so as you can see here in the custom class area we have a make divider class applied so if i get rid of that you can see that this is just the empty column without anything. So I added the mug divider class and if we open this class you can see that we have just the height set to 3. We can set it to 10 and as you can see right away we have a much higher, much thicker lines here. I think 3 is what I want here. And in addition to the height of this column, I have also added the color to the background. So now it appears white because I have this white color here. And next, we just need to apply effects. And if we go back to the preview, you can see that we have the text just fading in and maybe moving from the downside to upper side. And we can do that by selecting this text here or the column, it doesn't really matter. So I have selected the text and here in the scroll effects area, I have fade in enabled and this upper side arrow enabled. And for the line, I just select this column, the first column, which has our custom class applied. And I've done a little bit more here. So you can see I have fade in enabled and I have zoom enabled, so it's not only fading in, it's zooming in. And finally, it is also scrolling in from the left to the right side. 
So if, for example, we disable scroll in and disable zoom, let's see what we will get. Right now, as you can see, on this one, we don't have this zoom effect and we don't have this moving effect at all. So if we go back here and add the left to right effect, let's go back to see how it looks. Now you can see it is not getting bigger, but it is moving already, so it's better. And now if we add the zoom, in addition to moving, it is also getting longer. You can add this effect to any element on your website and just use the imagination to combine the fading, zooming and sliding effects to create something unique and beautiful. And if you have any questions about this technique or anything about Blocks 3, please let me know and I will do my best to help you and create more videos like this. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.